Pickles Clinic, 5 years old, Romania. Gershon Fuller, 6 years old, Jean Rabbit. My name is Ziggy, I'm Jewish and I believe in Jesus. I work full time with a mission organisation called Jews for Jesus in London, where I was born and raised. Holocaust Remembrance Day is commemorated on the 27th of January every year. This is the anniversary of the day that Auschwitz was liberated by the Russians in 1945. What they saw and what the Americans saw as they liberated the camps was so shocking that they filmed what they found as a testament to the horrors so that no one could ever say these things never happened. My name is Ziggy, I am Jewish and I believe in Jesus. And like many Jewish families we were also devastated by the Holocaust. My grandmother's family lost all of her family members. Everyone from her village of 885 Jewish people were taken directly to Auschwitz in March 1942 and none were to return. As my grandmother's firstborn grandson, I was named in accordance with Jewish tradition. I was named after a relative who had died, and so I was named after my grandmother's father, Zygmunt. My name is Zygmunt, but everyone calls me Ziggy. My name now stands as a monument to the memory of the millions who died for no other reason that they were Jewish. So it should come as no surprise that my family never had a kind word to say about Jesus or Christianity. I grew up thinking that Jesus was the worst Jew, the cause of all anti-Semitism, and was rightfully crucified as a blasphemer. When I was doing my PhD in mathematics, I had a very good friend who wasn't Jewish or Christian, but some years later he became a Christian, and encouraged me to consider whether Jesus is in fact the Messiah, our long-awaited Messiah. I so read the eyewitness accounts of the life, death and resurrection of Jesus, I was discovering a Jesus I never could have imagined. He heals the sick, he raises the dead, he calms the storm with the word. And I thought, maybe, Jesus is the Messiah we were taught about in the synagogue as children. But then I thought, how can I believe Jesus is the Messiah when the rabbis have been rejecting Jesus for the last 2,000 years? Soon I found myself opening the pages of the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, looking at the prophecies of the coming of the Messiah. And there I came to the realisation that Jesus hadn't just come to heal the sick or raise the dead, but that he had come from heaven to earth to die, taking the punishment for my sins. I was forgiven, not because of anything I had done, but because of what he had done for me. In my first prayer, I was overwhelmed with two strong emotions, joy and fear. Joy because I'd found a great treasure, the Saviour but fear because I realised for the very first moment in my life that I'd never honoured God as my King, Creator and Sovereign Lord. I'd never done that. In that moment, I saw clearly the shameful things that I had done and said and thought before God, things that I'd never, things that had never bothered me before, but, but then something troubled me even more, my attitude, my independent attitude, what the Bible calls sin. I also came to see that my I built my entire identity on what I did. I was good at mathematics, I had a PhD. I came to see that mathematics had been functioning as my saviour. It had taken me to university for eight years and a life I never could have imagined, but now I see that, that only Jesus is a saviour. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day and despite the long shadow of suffering and death of millions of my Jewish people, women, men, women and children, known as the Shoah, the Holocaust, I know Jesus is Israel's promised Messiah. And while my family may feel I have departed from the truth faith, rather than a departure, I believe that I have come home. Consideration of Jesus may be seen as the ultimate act of disloyalty for a Jewish person, but if Jesus is the promised Messiah, then to follow him and believe in him, indeed to worship him, is the appropriate response, even in the enduring knowledge of the death of millions of my people. Why not read one of the Gospels yourself and see it says in scripture that if you seek the Lord, you will find him if you search for him with all of your heart. He promises that. The Holocaust makes us ask big questions of life. So why not go to the Lord and seek him, especially at a time like this? God bless you and Shalom.